Everyone should be able to enjoy trick or treating, right? For some little ones and their parents, it's more trick than treat. So one local mother is working to make it a little bit sweeter. 10 News reporter Angelina Salcido shows us why you might be seeing more blue this year. Inside the autism awareness shop and thrift store, you can find almost anything you might need. Take those and you can bring them out to the round for the go backs, OK? This is Jennifer Band and her son Cody. She says he's the hardest worker they have. Do they match? Yeah. Cody also has autism. Mm -hmm. Autism is an amazing gift. And a very big challenge at the same time. Cody was nonverbal when he was little. That made celebrating Halloween a little different. He would knock on the door and people would basically hold their candy hostage until they got a trick or treat. Years later and Cody could speak. He loved trick or treating. His interest in trick or treating really peaked at about 17 or 18. But he still had no way to communicate that his autism made him a little different than his friends. Words can't really describe how how that felt when he was being rejected in that way. Now these shirts and bright blue pumpkins are making Halloween a little easier. They make me feel included. Jen and her family have sold over 350 of these. They're hoping that this blue pumpkin will make Halloween a little bit easier for someone who may have autism this year. Using these blue pumpkins will help individuals answering the door for trick or treaters understand um, and have a little bit more compassion or patience. Yeah. Such a great cause, and we also have one of these pumpkins here in studio. You can get these pumpkins up until Halloween at the Bands store. And of course, there are lots of fun and scary things to do to get you in the spirit of in Tampa Bay. We have a list of Halloween events for you on our free 10 News app.